Now, federal health officials say booster shots for fully vaccinated people will likely be avail available starting the week of September 20th, which is about eight months after people received their second doses of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. And joining us live right now is State Public Health Director Dr. Tomas Aragond. The White House has its plan for booster shots. Does California plan to follow the federal rollout? Uh, yes, uh, starting in late September, assuming that the ACIP and the FDA have full approval and recommendation that this California state uh, will be uh, implementing that booster plan. Now, let's talk a little bit more about uh, some of the trends that you're seeing as uh, you know, people have been getting vaccinated and yet the case rates are continuing to climb. Uh, what, what, what have you been seeing and are more people getting vaccinated? Yeah, so right now we're having over 80,000 persons per day uh, getting vaccinated. So that number has increased significantly and we're really happy. What we are seeing is that primarily most of the infections, the vast majority of them are happening in people who are unvaccinated because there is so much transmission happening. Vaccinated people are getting infected also, but at a much lower rate. And fortunately, when the vaccinated people do become infected, they tend to have a, a much more mild illness. The hospitalizations and deaths are almost, uh, almost all among unvaccinated persons. We recently did a story about people who were having to pay to get a COVID test. Can you go over the rules here in California? Yeah, so COVID tests should be free. You should be able to get COVID tests either uh, through your local health department or your medical provider. Um, some people may decide to get a home test, for example, and buy that. Uh, buy that. But other, other than that, uh, all, all testing is free. Uh, we also have more employers who are requiring testing right now. So what's your advice to people who have to get tested in order to be able to even go to their job? Yeah, so we do have we do have uh, employers that are doing. There's a couple of ways that employers may be doing it. They may doing they may be telling their employees, you're either vaccinated or you get tested. So that's one. And then there's some employers who are saying, no, we absolutely want you to get vaccinated in order to to, to work here, unless you have a unless you have a specific medical exemption. But in general, those are the two different approaches that are happening. And then who pays for the test really depends. Sometimes the employer will pay for it. And sometimes the person themselves will have to figure out how to get tested. So, Dr. Aragon, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate uh, you taking the time to give us all of those answers. You're welcome. Thank you.